Irises also work in a number of different ways when inside animals. Now, on a previous slide that I just skipped over, it talked about the size, saying the largest of your viruses was about the size of a bacteria. So viruses <clears throat> generally are smaller than bacteria, but they're all different, and they may have different components. They may have RNA. They may have different uh, um, DNA. They may... Um, contain different enzymes to direct the cell to do different things but they do damage the cell in a couple of ways so this first line says that viruses damage or kill cells by causing the release of hydrolytic enzymes from your lysosome you know that your lysosome contains proteins enzymes that can hydrolyze and that means that they they break them down with water. Lysis means to split and hydro means with water. So hydrolytic enzymes are involved in destruction. And sometimes viruses cause our own lysosomes to release these enzymes and kill our cells. So that's one manner in which they work. Another is that sometimes viruses get into our cells and they... Um, they cause the infected cell to produce a toxin. Now, normally, when cells are dying, they don't release toxins. But sometimes viruses can make them release toxins that cause us to have disease. One of the diseases that some viruses can cause is cancer. Sometimes cancers can uh, be caused, tumor, tumors can be caused by adenoviruses. There's lots of different types of cancers that are pr produced from viruses. Um, I know that when my nephew was at St. Jude, he had leukemia, but when I was talking to one of the doctors, he said it was probably just a normal childhood virus that caused a cold virus that caused it to change into leukemia, which of course we know is cancer of the blood. So sometimes they behave in that manner. Also, some of them have... Um, molecular components in the, like in their envelopes they have proteins in their envelopes that are toxic and we didn't really talk about the structure of the envelope it's not really that important that you know the structure but there are some glycoproteins that make up that structure of that envelope and they're they're very uh, strong proteins and a lot of times they're toxic and so the envelope itself which is guarding the genome on the outside of the cell of the cell membrane or the I'm sorry not the cell membrane the capsid it has toxins that are capable of destroying our cells too so not all viruses work in the same manner they do they are very specific for what they infect so viruses aren't going to behave the same the viruses that we inhale are not going to work the same as the ones that we eat or the ones that we transmit through personal touch or sexual um, STDs. They're not going to behave in the same manner. They all are going to destroy the cell, but they all do it in different manners.